This comment from Heck Radar. What's my experience with GitHub Copilot with GPT-41 versus Sonnet 4? Have I tested it yet? Yes, I have tested it. I've worked on uh, a number of things with switching back and forth between the two models. Uh, Claude Sonnet from Anthropic is, is very chatty. It's very descriptive of what it's using. GPT-41 is very direct in what it's responding. So this command that I ran to tell it, hey, go create an instructions MD. And of course, I, when I dictated this and it didn't format that file name properly, but it was very clear, boom, this is all that I'm gonna say. I'll change that model. Now let's go to Claude Sonnet 4, right? Um, update and let's say update the instructions file to tell it um, to tell copilot to abide by my dot editor config and let's now watch watch what claude does it's very descriptive of what's going on here's my step-by-step -step solution i need to update I need to, I'm going to add guidance. It's describing to me all the things that it did versus all this did was say, I created this. So there's a, there's a, a difference in how that performs. And we'll see that as we go through more of, of developing and sw swapping back and forth. I do want to make sure that, that I, I call out, I recognize when you're working with Copilot, there are rate limits for the different usages that you're working with. There are premium requests that you go through when you choose to use one of the Anthropic models or the Google models, right? If you're using GPT from OpenAI, they're included. No, no additional fee, and you can use a lot of those inside of your applications, inside of your co-pilot work. Thanks so much for the question.